and now the mask in the dark, with creepy glowing LED eyes. <coughs> How to make glowing LED eyes. By using LEDs that only put out a little light, the eye can be lit in a dim room but still appear white. The moment the eyes are in shadow, they glow bright red. So this product has a hefty supply list. You'll need to visit different stores to find all the products. The supply list can be printed from the links in the video's description. This product combines craft making, electronics, and costume design. So you'll need to have a few skills on board. You'll need to know how to solder for connecting wires and components. You'll need to know how to work with plexiglass type materials for cutting 1 8 inch polycarbonate sheets. You'll need to know how to work with a hand torture heat gun for heating up the polycarbonate to 280 degrees Fahrenheit and shoving the back of a spoon in it to make a pair of lenses. So, building those eyes. Making polycarbonate lenses allows for a very clear lens that gives the eye the appearance of depth in light and in the dark. Uh, the shape and the colors are up to you. Here's a different set of colors on a similar eye. You can tell that the polycarbonate was shaped over the back of a spoon. I chose polycarbonate because it's easy to work with and gives you great clarity. So our lens is first, and then cut to the same shape as the lens is a piece of flat polycarbonate. Then there's a tiny ring that will be hot glued to the center of the flat piece. And slightly larger is a piece of foam cut from craft foam. Here's that ring close up. So. The ring is hot glued to the center of the flat polycarbonate piece, then the polycarbonate is painted on both sides with acrylic paint. You see how I'm using a dabbing motion? Um, it'll help hide the LED's location, um, and the paint will diffuse light. The ring is then used as a stamp to outline where to cut a hole into the fun foam. After cutting the hole, uh, trace the foam onto tinfoil, and then cut the tinfoil out. Use a thin layer of glue to attach the foil to the foam piece. Once your foam has a silver backing, then time to decorate your eye. Peel back some foil from around the hole and use a very small amount of glue to join the foam ring to your foam piece. Cut a long strip of foam the same width as the foam ring and wrap it in tin foil. Gauge how long the foam and foil strip has to be to enclose only one half of the eye. Then cut it to size, and glue it in place. This will also help hold the little foam ring flat against the polycarbonate. By using the foam ring to block out light, the costume's eyes will glow, but no light will leak in and blind the wearer. So after you glue the top half in, uh, do the same for the bottom half. Once they're both glued in, seal the foil and foam strip against the painted surface of the eye. This further helps keep the foam tightly pressed against the polycarbonate. And it keeps you from uh, accidentally getting flecks of tinfoil inside your eye. Okay, so, wiring LEDs. Here are our components. This first one is a 10 ohm, 1 fourth, or 1 half volt resistor. Uh, it doesn't matter which end goes where in the circuit. This is the battery holder. It has built-in leads. The red positive is where the flow goes out. The black negative is where the flow goes in. The LED has to match the battery holder. The electricity comes into the long positive and leaves through the short negative. When they're all soldered together, the circuit will work like this. A bigger version of this diagram is linked to in the description of the video for printing. Here's a properly done circuit diagram for comparison, um, simplifying the circuit and showing what order things go in. You can download this one, too. So we bought our electronics at Radio Shack. 
We chose our batteries, LEDs, and resistors based on doing math formulas because LEDs require lots of love to install. There are links to an online calculator and resources in the video's description. So we tested our components um, by using electrical tape to be sure each one worked. Then we laid out the components and cut wire to length. We also um, trimmed the wires on the LEDs and the resistors shorter. We made sure to keep the long wires long and the short wires short on the LEDs. Um, we stripped the wire. Uh, some pliers have built-in wire strippers, but we nicked the plastic with scissors and then popped it off to expose the wire. Um, so that's how this goes. Once you um, pop off that insulating plastic, um, you can twist the exposed wires together to make a solid um, sort of twisty wire. And that's going to help it conduct better and solder more easily. So then we soldered together our straight connections, insulating them using electrical tape. Now for the two Y splits, we stripped plastic along the wire rather than on its end. Um, then we wrapped this uh, stripped end of another wire around the first wire and soldered the joint. The two Ys were twisted together um, and insulated with electrical tape to make a really solid pair of sp uh, splits. So here, when the soldering is almost all complete, um, all the wire components start to make sense. Installing the eyes. The LEDs are built to focus light in a certain direction, so how you angle your LED inside the eye can greatly affect how the eye appears. Here I've stuck an LED into the side of the eye in a way I like. Um, once I put that into position, a large glob of hot glue will hold it firmly in place and also help keep the eye pressed tightly together. Um, now as it cools, notice that I'm going to be adding pressure to help keep it sealed tightly. So then I add the second LED, and after that, I look through the eye when um, the lights are on to make sure they're tightly sealed and no red light is leaking into the space enclosed by the foam ring. So it's time to add the lens to the eye and uh, finish it off. So now I clean the polycarbonate before gluing on the lens. I'm making sure I have the lens um, on how I like it uh, before I glue it, because you know, once this is done, it's not getting undone. Um, and notice I pick away the tiny strings of glue. If I try to rub them off, they will smear into a nasty plastic film over the polycarbonate. Once the lens is in place, I seal it with hot glue to help keep water vapor and dust from getting into the eye. So, one dab on each side to hold it in place. Again, picking off the strings. and then seal it in with hot glue. So now the eyes are a creepy disembodied tangle. Wrapping the loose wires with electrical tape uh, helps clean up the problem, uh, and it does reduce the creepiness slightly. A heavy dab of hot glue on either side of the eye will hold it in place um, while I position it, and then I can seal it in place with a whole lot of glue. If you saw the How to Make a Werewolf Mask uh, video, you remember that the eye holes were cut to match the eyes of my wearer, Ben. So now all I have to do is line up the middle of the LED eye with the middle of the mask's eye hole, and it will be perfectly centered on Ben's eyes, so he can see through the tiny hole. Once the eye is lightly glued in place with those two tacking points, um, I flip over the mask and glue the eyes in place really heavily. Once those have cooled, I then tape the wiring into place um, and clean it up a little. And then I'll add foam pads so the LED eyes won't touch Ben's eyes. He can look through them, but not be irritated by them. And the final effect is wonderful! The end.